So in this video, I'm going to show you how I have figured out how to cast LingoPie and more specifically the Netflix shows to my Chromecast so that I can sit on the couch and watch TV as per usual whilst having both the French and the English subtitles that I'm watching. Basically, I'm in LingoPie now. I have to click on download extension. So it's going to take you over to the Chrome web store and you're going to have to download this Chrome extension here, language learning with Netflix. So then I come back into LingoPie. I've installed this Chrome extension. We can see up here, if I click on the little puzzle icon, it is this one over here where it says LingoPie. And I have pinned it just so that it appears up here at the top and it's easier for me to access. So I'm going to click on this TV show to watch. And now what happens is it's just loading it in Netflix. You can see here. So I'm also logged into Netflix right now. And if I just click here, it says I have to reload the page to use the extension. So I'll go ahead, click on reload. And now we'll see that we actually get this Lingo Pi subtitles on the right hand side as well. Now, unfortunately, I haven't found a way to toggle the script off whilst also getting both the French and the English subtitles. So here we can see it's just showing English now. So you are going to have this annoying script on the right hand side, but this is unfortunately what you have to do. So to actually cast it to the TV, now there's a couple things you have to do. If you just go ahead and click cast, first of all, it's not going to work properly. By default, it's going to cast the tap, which is essentially just going to be the same as casting Netflix directly to your Chromecast, which of course is not going to display these additional subtitles from the Chrome extension. And I'll just show you what happens. So if I click cast tab and I click here to connect to the main room TV, you can see that it is just going to be showing up as Netflix as per normal without my special subtitles. Now I'm just gonna go ahead, reload the extension, do the same as I did before. You can see I have the subtitles loaded up now, another problem that I had, you need to go to your Chrome settings, go to system, and you must disable this use hardware acceleration when available. Because if you do have this turned on, then it's just going to display Netflix as a complete black screen. So that's another problem that you might have. So now when you actually want to go and cast it, you do have to change sources to cast screen. Now what happens when I've clicked cast screen and I'm just going to select main room TV that's actually literally casting my computer screen as it is. I have to first toggle this off just so I can make it full screen and then I can toggle this back on and essentially I get to watch it like this. So it does have this script but I actually think this is pretty helpful when it comes to language learning because you can see what's coming up as well as these subtitles here. Hopefully this was helpful. Thank you for watching.